Hello and welcome to the Coal Collective for Pic de Midi de Bigor. We've brought you the Col de Tourmalet in the past. On the west from Luzon Sauveur, you've got a 19k climb. And from the east, San Marie de Campan, it's about 16.9k. Both classics in themselves, but today we're going to bring you something especially special. We're going to be starting off at 2,115 meters and climbing all the way up to the summit of one of my personal favorite ascents in the world, all the way up to Pic de Midi at 2,877 meters. So you ready to rock it? Right then, let's go. Look at that, we're at 2,240 meters elevation. The first uh, K and a half so far, gradient's only been at about 8% and the, uh, the gravel's quite kind to us. And look at the views of the western face of the Tourmalet. For the back end of October, it's absolutely sensational. first big view of Pic de Midi ahead and we're met with uh, the Lac de Onset as well off to the left and the colours today quite extraordinary we've got blues and turquoises in this autumn light absolutely magnificent Having started the climb at over 2,000 meters, up to 2.4 now, you can really start to feel the altitude tickling in the lungs, making us work a bit harder.
track's just carved its way through the rock. We're approaching 2,600 meters. The gradient's at 12 to 14%. You really gotta try and pick your line as well when the gravel gets a bit deeper. Amazing to think that just beneath us is the legendary summit of the Tourmalet and we're starting to expose some of the higher peaks of the Pyrenees as well over to the right. Oh. Well, we got uh, four Ks in and look at that for a view back to onset behind me but this is where beauty certainly turns into the beast. The gravel's getting a lot more aggressive, much more gnarly, and we're not gonna get a lot of change out of 10% and above when it comes to the gradient. So this is where all the heat's being turned up on Pic de Midi. We're actually crossing the Col de Sevoir as well. So cold bagging as we go, always something to look forward to on this climb. To fall. I won't shed a tear for them to see. That's it, 5.8 k's in. We're at 2,650 meters at the summit of the Col de Laquette, where you got an absolutely priceless view behind me. But this is where we get a bit of a sting in the tail. The track officially runs out. If I look to my left, that's where we've got to go. We've got just over 200 meters of elevation still to climb. And uh, in just under one kilometer, if I do a bit of a cold collective mass, that means uh, the next K is over 20%. So I think we're on for a bit of hiker bike. I will be the last to fall. I won't shed a tear for them to see.
Wow, we made it. 2,877 meters elevation. And we're right up here with the, uh, the giants of the Pyrenees. Behind me, you can see the little cutout of Brest de Roland. That means off to the right, we've got the Tyon over 3,000 meters high. And just below that, we've got Tremousse, Tont, and Gavani. So a real spectacle. We've got a delicate dusting of snow as well on these peaks. And in my opinion, when coupled up with the Tourmalet, there really is no better place to be in the world. It's absolutely pure mountain magic and like nothing else on earth.